Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalama Lawson. On tonight's bulletin, Zimbabwe's diaspora gives support to its Olympic athletes in London. Maternity fee scrapping is hailed. Backyard hair salons gain popularity. And a Gweri woman wins a pool tournament in Harare. With many Zimbabwean athletes competing in the London 2012 Olympics, those in charge of the country's diaspora held an event to give moral support to those competing. Tendai Mujiwa reports from the event in London. Less than five minutes away from the Olympics Park saw officials and athletes honored with music, food and speeches. Knox Chitio, chairman of the Zimbabwe Diaspora Olympic Support Network, the group behind the event, said we didn't want the team to come all this way and feel there was no support. Committee. As everyone knows, we have a, an Olympic team here in London for the first time and we thought we should come together as a diaspora to give moral support and whatever support we can for the team and make sure that Zimbabwe is going, going for gold really means something. So that's, that's really what we're all about. So this evening uh, is all about bringing the community together, friends of Zimbabwe, just to show support for the team and to show them that we're really 100% behind them as they go for gold. This included several music acts, including bitter players, plates of steaming traditional food, as well as the use of the Stratford Town Hall, a privilege grant not granted to any other country for the Games. Zimbabwean-born boxer Derek Chisora was also in attendance at the packed hall. Ambassador Gabriel Machinga took a light-hearted approach, opening and closing his speech with the song Beautiful Zimbabwe, changing the lyrics to Bring Gold Zimbabwe. On a more serious note, the ambassador noted that sport can play a healing role and bring a nation together. There are so many things that we are celebrating tonight. The culmination of other events we have had since last week. We celebrate first and foremost that Zimbabwe has been able to put forward a team, Team Zimbabwe, to go to London and ensure that we scoop gold. And hence, my modification of our traditional song, Beautiful Zimbabwe, into Come On, Come On Zimbabwe. 11,000 athletes from the 7 billion population will compete at the Games, as Busi Chindove, head of the ZOC team, explains. But my attitude really is that all athletes who make it at this level, you know, just deserve an applause for getting here. Because you've got 10,500 athletes in that village, people who include, you know, uh, the, the Williams sisters and so on. So already the fact that we've got Zimbabweans who are regarded in the same uh, manner or looked at at the same level as people like that, I think is, is fantastic in itself. The recent scrapping of maternity fees by the government has been welcomed by many women who could not afford them. The fees resulted in some risking their lives by giving birth at home. Muchane Dachimuka reports. Ma clinic anga achi badar sa mari ino ita twenty five dollars. Asi kuchi patra she uru mende mari i ya gona kudarika. Vichendra ne kuti muno asunungu kase. Ikana taka tay sa vashin chima tima i asunungu kram tima. Makuda koko shayi wa mari. Saka don zero rakau ya raka chiba tira shukuru. Makuti muna aku kwanza kuenda. Cha aku ngoko no kuchwa ga preparation. Oswa wakuti rendo kuchi patra ndono batir wa mar. Saka ndono na shaka naka. Not to 
kunyangwe varume vakafarira mutemo uyu sezvo vazhinjiri vavo vakange vari kuomerwa nekudhura kwezvipatara chakatonunuka kuti chipepo chirongwa chiya because vanhu vava chifane dzimimba achitadza kuenda hospital pamusoro pe ashushaya mari saka chirongwa chiya chakanakisa chi anotaura nezvematambudziko akange ariko apo zvipatara zvaibhadhariswa 15 dollars kuno kumamisha it's a lot of money 15 dollars is not a joke it's a lot of money saka vakawanda vachiriska kuponesiwa nanambuya nyamukuta maraino voponesewa e, vanhu vaya havana zivo they don't have the know how vanongo viringa viringa umwanongo vivhingwa nemareza ndikungo tonongo kwa tonongo the, the wrong way asi vamwe varutarisira kuti mutemo uyu uchaunza shandu uko munyaya dzeutano wemadzimai it means we are going to have people um, having supervised deliveries supervised by qualified staff when we were talking of high maternal mortality rates in zimbabwe part of the problem was because people were having unsupervised deliveries because they could not afford user fees now all those people can go Mazimai masere ari kufazwa nezwa mu Zimbabwe pakusununguka. Asi nekuda kwemutemo mutsva kunotarisirwa kuti rufu ruchaderera. Ndini mutori wenawo ATV muchaneta chimuka ndiri muHarare Zimbabwe. Many Harare residents are now shunning city hair salons, opting for those in the backyard of high-density suburbs because of their cheap rates. But this has led to concerns about hygiene and use of counterfeit hair products. Jeffrey Moyo gives us the story. Backyard hair salons in Harare's high-density suburbs are fast gaining popularity, taking away business from upmarket ones. ATV spoke to some backyard salon operators who attributed their brisk business to affordable prices. Backyard salons are regarded as an hygienic, but the operators beg to differ. Some hairdressers in Chitungwiza say they prefer operating in the high density suburb because of low rentals. However, the hairdressers complained about power outages and huge electricity bills. Madam Zikoro Gera, it's also Kusina Magets, it's no Shanesa inveta. I'm a piece in Dopane, Pano to Quazas Kuzanana, because no Magets are not Tagayenda, a Pangway is Bashanan, we are going to. Seven days, kind of one week, do pano ya. But the pano zoe aga kuira, ano aga kuira, not to it is goodi. Marriage change is no one zoe pere koko. Reporting for ATV, I'm Jeffrey Moyo in Harare, Zimbabwe. Perceptions about the game of pool are changing among Zimbabweans after a Gweri woman won a recent tournament. Last Saturday, 32 men and women competed in a 10,000 black ball tournament in Harare. Robert Tafumane gives us more. A woman from Gweru on Saturday won a snooker tournament after beating 15 contenders in this event which attracted scores of people to Harare's Warrenpeck suburb. The Snooker 10,000 Black Ball Tournament was organized by Beverage Concern Delta Corporation. Ecstatic Auxilia Munyengi, who walked away with $500, a floating trophy in the hamper, spoke to ATV about the tournament. Charles Chikati, who competed on the men's side against 15 other contenders, walked away with $1,000, a floating trophy and a hamper. Chikati said he is planning to represent Zimbabwe at regional tournaments. 
The president of Pools Association of Zimbabwe said gone are the days when snooker used to be a game for drunkards. This game has been orientated to uh, beer halls, but we're going a step further, a step further in terms of us discussing with the sports commission for us to move the game into other recreational centers, in schools, in any other place where women can be freely have an opportunity to participate in those games. He added that one of the best ways of improving the game is to include it in the schools, sporting curriculum. But I know uh, with the assurance that have been given by uh, Director General, he's saying he's going to propose and get it that one sell through and be part of the sport within the sporting disciplines, within the uh, curriculum. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.